Science and technology have never been more important for Europe's future. But to achieve its full potential, science and technology needs to engage with societal actors across Europe. We need both science and society to work together to address societal challenges. The European Commission has launched the concept of Responsible Research and Innovation, RRI. This means that research needs to be inclusive, anticipatory, reflexive and responsive in the future. There is a vital role for citizens, stakeholders and users in making the vision of RRI a reality. The Engage 2020 project has spent two years mapping engagement methods and practice across Europe. What are some of the drivers of this new way of working? People have talked about science engagement as a way of having a kind of extended peer review. You know, there's a lot of knowledge, there's a lot of expertise, you could say there's a lot of wisdom out in society. And scientists are part of that, but they can't have the whole picture. So I think uh, a closer collaboration between citizens, stakeholders, science and innovation it's very, very important if we're going to solve the grand challenges that we have in front of us. Engagement benefits citizens, research institutions and society at large. And so if you're working for society in, in a project of societal change, you want to involve society. It's, uh, for me, that's the core element of uh, why we should be engaging more and in more structured ways and probably also in different and more creative ways. In one sense, engagement is important for democracy because if we want a democratic society, we want and we need people to be engaged. We cannot take democracy for granted. Already today, tens of thousands of Europeans are involved in citizen science every year and the institutions are seeing the benefits. Public engagement is important uh, to research and innovation because it leads to better science and uh, more broadly supported science. Public engagement is a route to impact and by involving the public in all stages of the research process we believe that not only is research more relevant to society but also that it generates better research. Increased engagement is driven by the fact that society has changed. People want to know more, they want to be more involved, they don't accept it just to be directed or taught. We are also in the middle of a technological and communication revolution. But I think that uh, modern technology is also opening up new means to engage citizens. We now have cars that are actually produced and that are designed by citizens. We now have new products that are not designed by three or four engineers. Public engagement is a very broad concept. It ranges from public involvement in setting research policies at the national or supranational level, it also includes the active involvement of NGOs and citizens in research programs and in defining research questions and priorities for individual research projects. There is also a lot of activity around involvement in the research process itself, for example, through citizen science and science shops. Engagement doesn't have to be anything big or fancy. It could be working with a local school. It could be doing something in a local community. There are many options for a European citizen looking to get involved in science and research today. Thousands of citizens are randomly selected to deliberate on science policy topics across Europe, on topics like sustainable consumption or climate change. Hundreds of NGOs and stakeholder organizations help to shape research projects through structures like science shops, on topics like wind farms, energy efficiency and public health. And in their spare time, tens of thousands of European citizens contribute directly to science, for example by carrying out air and water quality tests, classifying pictures of galaxies, or by counting zebras on the Serengeti, all from the comfort of their home. The European Commission and prominent public and private research funders support this new way of working because they see tangible benefits and impacts. So one constant challenge with engagement is to make it real, that it's not something which is just conducted for its own sake, but in some way connects up to decision processes or innovation processes. I think that's a real challenge every time you do engagement. Scientists also see benefits from public engagement. 
engagement in science can take advantage of the capacity of citizens to, to contribute to science, to help gather data, uh, everything from identifying distant galaxies to taking you know, water quality readings. There's all kinds of ways in which citizens can and are now um, helping to produce better science, better research. The scientists can actually learn things. You know, they can hear aspects of an issue that they haven't thought about before. You might be working with it very successfully in the laboratory, but you might get information about what happens out there in what you might call the, the real world. So we need to draw on the whole knowledge base in Europe and not just on the academic knowledge base already quite involved with research and innovation. Engagement is still a developing field and there are many improvements to make. I'd like to see a situation where we don't have to have conversations with universities and researchers about why they should be engaging, why it's important. They'll have had the experience themselves and recognise the value of engagement for the research and the research process. So I would want to move away from the idea of, of engagement as a one-off towards something where we say, how do we build that into the process as a real learning opportunity? Engagement isn't common everywhere, but we can see the beginning of a European research and innovation engagement community. We really need to have professionalism into engagement, and that takes time. It takes time for everybody to learn how to practice it, but it can be done. Uh, things are improving, and for example, we can see the European Commission have started some projects about involving scientific actors such as citizens. Many experts would like to see more strategic engagement. Know your limitations, uh, but also know your competences and what you really can do. There is a lot of experience to draw from. I think there are methods out there, there are good practices out there, there are great examples out there of how to engage citizens with science, technology, research and innovation. So go to the good practices. Make sure you benefit from Engage 2020's useful resources, which can help you understand how you best engage with citizens, stakeholders and users. Visit the Engage 2020 website for access to over 50 methods of engagement, as well as practical policy recommendations and inspiring case studies. The future of the European science field depends on responsible research and innovation. Wider engagement with European citizens, stakeholders and users is a crucial part of this emerging landscape. Regardless of what role you currently play within research and innovation, in the future you will need to consider how you will involve societal actors in your work. Engagement will lead to more legitimate, more relevant and better scientific results.